it's Alice and welcome to this reading vlog. So I am currently trying to make my way through my book purge TBR and I thought I would do a little vlog to motivate me to read some more. If you didn't see my recent like book purge, I will leave a link to it somewhere. I made a TBR stack in that video and told myself and all of you that if I haven't read those books by the end of the year, I have to get rid of them and it's quite the stack. So I'm trying to read some of those books. I've read four of them so far and DNF'd one and I want to keep like going with it and I figured it would be fun to do like a little vlog of it. Now we're gonna start this off by picking the first book that I'm gonna read and we're gonna take a look at the stack but first I just gotta show you these flowers. <laughs> so I don't know how well you can see these but this is a bunch of <laughs> peonies and peonies are actually my favorite flower. They're only available a couple of weeks of the year here and I always get some when I see them and they're just beautiful and they actually smell really nice as well. <laughs> Anyways, let's go pick my first read. So I'm keeping my TBR stack in this <laughs> corner because this is where they fit and these are the books that I have yet to read so I'm gonna pick one of these to start with. I actually think I'm gonna start off with the book at the very bottom here which is <laughs> the one that's most difficult to get out and for no particular reason I just need to start somewhere and I've had that book for ages so it might be a good one to just try out. So this is what it looks like. This is Good Neighbors by Joanne Serling and this was a little bit of a cover buy for me and I don't remember what it's about but it says on the inside here that it's set in an idyllic suburb which I'm already into and four young families quickly form a neighborhood clique. Their friendship based on little more than the ages of their children and a shared sense of camaraderie. And then one of the couples adopt a kid and that like shifts the group's loyalty and morality is soon called into question and yeah should be interesting to try out all right so it's been a couple of days and i have finished this book it was a very quick read and yeah it was not my thing. So the story in here is about these people who are neighbors and they're friends mostly like because they're neighbors they're like friends of convenience I guess and they have kids the same age and all of that and they probably wouldn't be friends if they weren't living on the same street and didn't have like not necessarily things in common but they if they weren't at the same places in their lives they probably wouldn't be friends and it's all about these people and what happens to this group when one of the couples like one of the neighbors adopt a child from Russia and the people around them start questioning if they're treating this kid well that in and of itself sounds like the kind of story that I would be interested in, which I think is one of the reasons I got this book. I got this ages ago, I don't really remember, but I think it was partly that and partly a cover buy <laughs> a little bit. And the thing is, it just didn't work in this one for whatever reason. I just didn't really like it. I didn't like the writing style. I found it very like chopped up in a way. And honestly, the story, <laughs> was so boring. The characters were boring and I can't remember any of their names even though I finished this yesterday and it was just... it was just not that good for me. It is the kind of book that I would have DNF'd if it wasn't this short and one of the positive things about this book is that it's very quick to read, like it's super fast even though the story feels very slow it's pretty fast to read and I ended up skimming the last like maybe a hundred pages just to like see where the story was gonna go and I thought maybe something shocking would happen towards the end and it kind of did but by that point I just didn't really care so yeah Glad I read this, I guess, but I'm gonna get rid of this book now and probably never think about it again. 
Now I did start another book last night very quickly from the stack and it is How to Be a Victorian by Ruth Goodman. I've had this book for ages and it's a book that I have wanted to read since I got it but I just never got around to it so I figured the way that I would get to this book was by putting it into this TBR stack and like giving myself a time limit for when I need to finish it. And I read 22 pages in this last night and I think I'm really going to like this. The title of this book really explains what this book is about. It's about how to be a Victorian and it says in the introduction that the author is just going to go through like a regular Victorian day and everything that a person living in Victorian England would go through. So we're reading about like getting up in the morning and there's a little bit in here about like washing and cleanliness and then the next thing I'm gonna read about is teeth cleaning and there's like a there are illustrations in this book which I really like and yeah I think I'm really going to enjoy this I do think it's gonna take me a while to get through though because it's like over 400 pages and I read nonfiction a little bit slower than I read fiction so it might take me a while, but I think I'm really going to enjoy this. So far, it's great. Now, I do want to start another book because I kind of want to read some fiction as well. And I want something light and easy. And I have the stack right in front of me here. And the one at the top, I think, is the one that I'm going to go for, which is this one. This is a book I put on my summer TBR as well. This is a like cozy historical mystery which I'm really in the mood for right now because I am reading like other books while I'm also filming this vlog and some of them are like kind of heavier well not heavier nonfiction but it's like nonfiction that's super interesting but I really need to concentrate on so I want to read something light next to that so I think I'm gonna read this the story in here is set in Brighton in 1957 and we meet this police officer who is just sort of, you know, enjoying his life as a policeman by the sea. There isn't a lot of crime in the town where he works and yeah, I think that he sort of wishes there was more interesting stuff to do and then one night he is at the theater and he... I think like a theater critic that's sitting right next to him gets shot. So he finally ends up like having an, an exciting case, I guess. It says on the back here that a shot in the dark is sheer witty delight, which is exactly what I need right now. All right, so I thought I would do a very quick update before I have to head to work because I've done some reading in the past couple of days. I'm on page 98 of this book, so I'm about a third of the way through, and so far this is pretty good. This is pretty, like, light and easy and funny, and I'm enjoying it. It feels to me kind of like a 3 out of 5 star book, if you know what I mean. Like, it's good, but it's not great, but it's also not bad. I am really enjoying the setting and I think that the characters are they're a little bit stereotypical but I am enjoying reading about them we have like one police chief who refuses to accept that there is crime in his town then we have like his next in command who is trying to do like police work without being caught up in his chief's like idea of there being no crime and then we have a new police officer who's kind of like a genius of sorts and he struggles a little bit on the social side if you know what I mean like he makes other people feel stupid but he is a really good police officer and he's just started in this like uh, police department I guess now on the back here it says that like, the main mystery in this book is about a theater critic who is shot dead. That literally just happened. Like, it took quite a long time to get there. And for something that's written on the back of the book, I feel like we've already spent a lot of time just getting to that point, if you know what I mean, which I maybe don't love that much. It is a pretty quick read, though, so I should be able to finish this relatively soon. 
Now, this one is going a little bit slower, but I thought that it would because it's like nonfiction and it just takes me longer to read. I'm on page 58 of this and I'm really enjoying it. I'm currently reading about men's clothes and women's clothes and how they changed throughout the Victorian era and I'm really enjoying it. It's very interesting and it's factual without being too dry, which I love. I think that was kind of it for the update though. I have to go to work now. I'm gonna keep reading these and I will update you when I've read some more. It's been another couple of days and I have finished a book, started a new one, and I'm currently still reading one book. So I finished this book. This was a very quick and enjoyable read. I kind of knew when I started reading it that it was gonna be like a good book, but maybe not like amazing. And I was right. It was good and enjoyable, but maybe not all that memorable to be honest. I think the strongest part of this is maybe the humor, actually. I think that the characters are like fun to read about, but they are a little bit like characters you've met before. And I think that there are maybe too many of them and there isn't enough space to really give all of them enough room. And I felt like, especially towards the end, there were so many characters and it was just, I thought it was a little bit too much. I do think this is the first book in a series and I'm probably not gonna continue it just because I'm reading a lot of other like cozy mystery series and I don't really need another one. And this one didn't do enough for me to sort of warrant spending time reading the next ones, even though I'm sure the next ones are like fun and enjoyable as well. So I'm sure for the right reader, this is pretty good. Now I am still making my way through How to Be a Victorian. I'm really enjoying this, but like I said, it's gonna take me a while to read because I read nonfiction a little bit slower and I wanna like take my time with this, but I'm on page 156 and I've made it through like dressing and hair and all that kind of stuff. And the next chapter is about breakfast, so. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far into the Victorian day, but I've gotten pretty far into the book. And I think this is great, honestly. It's like very easy to read and it's fun. It's very detailed. So if you're not interested in this topic, you're not gonna like this. But I really like that the author clearly has some experience with sort of acting or being a Victorian. I think she works in like different Victorian settings. I've heard that she has like some series about like how to be Victorian and stuff like that. And it's really fun that she's put her experiences into this. Like in the part where it was about women's uh, hairstyling, there were like all of these concoctions that you could make to set your hair. So it's basically like hair gel or hairspray or like something like that and she had tried out several of them and it was really fun to read about that and the same with like clothes the way that she describes clothes and corsets for instance like how most corsets were just for support and it wasn't necessarily like a very uncomfortable or bad thing although she does touch on the fact that people would like tight lace to make your waist smaller which is not a good thing now, because I don't actually think I'm gonna be able to finish this for this vlog, I need to like wrap it up soon. I started another book and it is this, which is called Drown. This is a short story collection that I bought when I was in like a short story craze and then it just stayed on my shelf for forever. And this says it's a spellbinding saga of a family's journey through the new world. And I've read two stories in this. They're both set in the Dominican Republic and they both follow like young boys. And I honestly don't know if I'm just not in the mood for this or I'm not like jiving with it because I read those two stories and they were fine. Like they were good, but I don't know. Sometimes I read these things and I'm just like, yeah, that's good. And then it doesn't really make a lot of impact on me. I don't know. 
I do think this is an older short story collection though. I think it's from like the 90s, like the mid 90s. So maybe it just feels a little bit dated. I don't really know. But I do know that this is a very like highly acclaimed short story collection. So it might just be me that's the problem. I am going to keep reading this. It seems like a pretty quick read. Like the font is pretty big and it's not that long. So I'm going to keep going with this. And then I'm also going to keep reading this. And yeah, maybe when I finish this, I will like talk to you again and we'll wrap this whole thing up. So I've finished this book now. It was quite a quick read. It has like 10 short stories or something and I like this but for whatever reason I didn't love it. Sometimes I find it really difficult with books like these that I liked but didn't love. I find it really difficult to pinpoint what it is that makes me not love it. Like I liked this. I thought it was good. But I just, for some reason, I didn't love it. And it's not my favorite, like, short story collection that I've read. Maybe it's because it's too realistic. I wonder if maybe I like my short stories to be a little bit more, like, weird and magical. And this is very much just, like, harsh reality. I do really like that all of the stories in here mostly follow the same characters. I think that's a great way to make a short story collection feel more cohesive in a way. And I like a lot of the themes that are explored in here. Like we take a look at relationships between family members and sort of the American dream and experiencing things that you have to carry with you for the rest of your life. Like I liked all of that, but I wonder if maybe there was something about the characters that I didn't quite get on with. Most of them are male, so maybe that's why. And like I think I mentioned, this came out in the 90s. And it's not that it feels dated, but there's like a slight disconnect there for whatever reason for me. I do wonder if maybe I should give this author's other books a go, like he's written some novels, and I wonder if maybe I would like his writing and his style more in a longer format. And like, I feel like novels oftentimes work better for me because I feel like I get to know the characters better. And he's written the book This Is How You Lose Her, which I have heard about, but I don't know if it's any good or not. But Maybe I should try to read that. Like I suspected though, I have not been able to finish this book yet. I am really, really loving it though. I'm just taking my time with it because there's so much information in this book. It's very detailed. And I feel like the only way for me to really process it is to take my time with it and like take it in, in bite-sized chunks. The part that I'm reading now though is really interesting. It's about hunger and food scarcity in the Victorian age and just the experience of not having enough food and a lot of people only ate like bread, like they couldn't even get milk or anything really. And it's just very interesting. I really like how this explores all the different classes in Victorian society and how it was like for everyone. Like I really, really like that. Now I am going to end this vlog here because I don't want it to end up being too long, but I really enjoyed doing this and like reading books from my book purge TBR for a vlog. It was really motivating and it made me like pick up books from that stack and not <laughs> all of my other books. And I was wondering if maybe I should do another one of these soon and maybe you can help me pick the books to read for that one. I'll put up a picture of all the books from my book purge TBR and I'll cross out the ones that I've read and maybe you can help me pick from the rest of them and tell me if you want to see a video about any of the other ones. Let me know. That was it for this video though. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. As usual, links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description if you're interested and I will see you soon. Bye!